Imagine being on the verge of a revolutionary invention that would change the world, only to vanish without a trace. What if I told you this was the fate of the true pioneer of moving images, Louis Le Prince? In the late 19th century, a French artist named Louis Le Prince was on the brink of introducing the world to an invention that would forever change the course of human history, the motion picture camera. However, just as he was preparing to publicly showcase his groundbreaking work, Le Prince disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Fascinating and puzzling, isn't it? A man who is about to revolutionize the way we see and experience the world, suddenly gone without a trace. This wasn't just a simple case of a missing person. This was the disappearance of a visionary, a man years ahead of his contemporaries, a man who was on the verge of altering the world of entertainment forever. His disappearance in 1890 sparked numerous speculations and theories, each more intriguing than the last. Was it suicide, prompted by heavy debts and failing experiments? Did he choose to vanish and start a new life away from the public eye? Was it a murder set up by his competitors or even his own brother over their mother's will? Or was it Thomas Edison, the American inventor who later claimed credit for the invention of moving images, who had a hand in his disappearance? Despite the many theories, Le Prince's fate remains an unsolved mystery. His disappearance not only left a void in the lives of his loved ones, but also in the world of cinema. His innovative work predated the achievements of the Lumiere brothers and Thomas Edison, yet his name was overshadowed by theirs in the annals of film history. A man on the cusp of changing the world, suddenly gone. Louis Le Prince's story is one of brilliance, innovation, and a chilling mystery that remains unsolved to this day. Born in France in 1841, Louis Le Prince's life was marked by a fascination with art and technology. This fascination was kindled early on, as he was introduced to photography by none other than Louis Daguerre, the inventor of the daguerreotype, the first publicly available photographic process. Alongside this, Le Prince nurtured an interest in painting and chemistry, demonstrating a keen intellect and a diverse range of passions. Le Prince's life took a significant turn when he moved to England. Here he began to establish a reputation for his work in colour photography. His innovative spirit didn't rest with still images, however. Le Prince had his eyes on a grander prize, the moving image. And so, he set to work on developing motion picture technology, an endeavour that would define his legacy. Le Prince's work in this field was groundbreaking. He designed a single lens camera, capable of shooting at five to seven frames per second, a remarkable achievement for the time. In 1888, he filmed the Round Hay Garden scene, using a camera with a mechanism that bore a striking resemblance to modern film cameras. This was the world's first moving picture, a remarkable testament to Le Prince's genius and inventiveness. However, Le Prince was not just a technical wizard, he was also an artist. His films, though short, captured unique moments and interactions with a sense of beauty and elegance. They showcased not just the possibilities of the technology he was developing, but also his artistic vision and his ability to see the extraordinary in the ordinary. Le Prince was a man ahead of his time, pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible. He stood on the brink of a new era, an era that would be defined by the moving image. His work laid the foundation for the cinematic wonders that we take for granted today. Yet, as we will see, Le Prince's story is as much about mystery and intrigue as it is about innovation and creativity. In 1888, Le Prince accomplished what no one had before, capturing the first motion picture. Picture this, Leeds, England, the late 19th century. A French inventor, Louis Le Prince, is on the brink of something monumental. His workshop is a flurry of activity filled with gears, lenses, and a groundbreaking invention, a single lens camera. This is not just any camera though. This is a camera designed to capture not just still images, but moving ones. In the autumn of that year, Le Prince does something extraordinary. He films moving picture sequences of his family members in Round Hay Garden and his son playing the accordion. This isn't just a home movie. This is the birth of moving images. Using his single lens camera and Eastman's paper negative film, Le Prince captures life in motion, creating what many consider to be the world's first films. His camera, a marvel of innovation, is capable of shooting at five to seven frames per second. This might not sound impressive by today's standards, but for the time, it was revolutionary. Le Prince's camera was the precursor to the film cameras we know today, 
and his work laid the foundation for the entire film industry. But Le Prince's genius didn't stop at the camera. His patents included innovative designs for both cameras and projectors. He was not just capturing images, he was imagining how to share them, how to bring these moving pictures to audiences. His work was, in many ways, far ahead of his contemporaries. Despite his monumental achievements, Le Prince's work did not receive the fame it deserved during his lifetime. His innovative spirit and artistic vision were overshadowed by his mysterious disappearance, leaving his family and the world with unanswered questions. But his legacy lives on in every film we watch, in every moment we capture. Because in 1888, Louis Le Prince did more than just film a garden scene. He changed the way we see the world. Just as Le Prince was about to publicly demonstrate his invention, he disappeared. In 1890, Louis Le Prince, the man who could have been hailed as the father of cinematography, vanished without a trace. This wasn't a simple case of a man going missing. This was a man who was on the cusp of changing the world, evaporating into thin air. Le Prince's disappearance occurred under peculiar circumstances. He was last seen boarding a train from Dijon to Paris, with plans to travel to the United States shortly after. He was eager to unveil his innovative single-lens camera, a device capable of capturing moving images. Yet he never arrived at his destination, and no trace of him or his luggage was ever found. This vanishing act sent shockwaves through the scientific community and beyond. It wasn't just the man who was lost, but also his revolutionary ideas. His disappearance created a vacuum that allowed other inventors to step in and claim the spotlight. Figures such as Thomas Edison seized the opportunity, patenting their versions of moving image technology and claiming credit for this groundbreaking invention. The impact of Le Prince's disappearance on the development of cinema is profound. His single lens camera, capable of shooting at five to seven frames per second, was a leap ahead of its time. Had he been able to showcase his work, the course of cinematic history could have been dramatically different. Instead, his contributions were overshadowed, his name lost to time. The sudden vanishing of Le Prince didn't just rob him of his rightful place in history, it also ignited a wave of speculation and intrigue that continues to this day. His disappearance is one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of the scientific world, a tantalizing puzzle that has inspired countless theories and investigations. In the blink of an eye, the father of cinematography was gone, leaving behind a legacy shrouded in mystery. His contributions to the world of cinema, though significant, were largely unrecognized during his lifetime. Yet, his spirit lives on, his story serving as a reminder of the fleeting nature of fame and the mysterious twists and turns of history. Over the years, many theories have emerged about Le Prince's disappearance. As we delve deeper into this enigma, we encounter a web of speculation, each thread as intriguing as the last. One theory that has sent ripples across the sands of time involves none other than Thomas Edison, a contemporary and competitor of Le Prince in the race to patent motion picture technology. Some suggest that Edison, in a bid to eliminate competition, might have had a hand in Le Prince's sudden vanishing. Though a tantalizing theory, the evidence supporting this claim is circumstantial at best, and many historians consider it speculative fiction. Then there's the theory of financial trouble. Le Prince, like many inventors of his time, was not immune to the monetary stresses that came with innovation. Some argue that the burden of debts and the fear of his groundbreaking work going unrecognized may have pushed him towards a desperate act of self-erasure. Yet, this theory too lacks concrete evidence and is tinged with conjecture. Another thread in this intricate tapestry of speculation revolves around Le Prince's mental health. The relentless pursuit of innovation, coupled with personal and professional pressures, could have taken a toll on his psyche. Could this have driven him to a state of despair, leading to his disappearance? Again, we are left grasping at straws in the absence of definitive proof. And let's not forget the haunting image of a drowned man bearing a startling resemblance to Le Prince, found in the Seine River, around the time of his disappearance. Could this be the tragic end of our enigmatic inventor? Or is it another red herring in this complex mystery? Each theory, each speculation, adds another layer to the enigma that is Louis Le Prince. Yet amidst the maze of conjecture and uncertainty, one fact remains unshakable. Although we may never know the true fate of Louis Le Prince, his contributions to the world of cinema cannot be denied. 
His innovative spirit, his relentless pursuit of the moving image, has left an indelible mark on the canvas of history, forever immortalizing him as a pioneer of cinematography.